Hey guys, this is Fish Taco. So today I'm going to show you uh, a new thing. Uh, you've probably already seen it if you're a fan of Dark Souls because it's pretty big news. Um, so it's an actual mouse fix that works. It's called Dark Souls Mouse Fix, you know, kind of predictable name. Uh, but I'm then just going to run through how to install it real quick. So you need DS Fix, obviously. Uh, I'm going to assume you know how to do that because, you know, since 2012 that's been a thing. Uh, but then you go here, uh, I will put this in the description, go here, download it. It's been updated twice already in a day, uh, it's pretty insane. He's fixed a lot of shit that was wrong with it, uh, and yeah. Now, uh, so I'll get rid of that. Um, you need to copy it straight into where your DS fix is, and then you can set it up with this. Um, yeah, run it as an admin, and then uh, set up whatever you want. Uh, keep in mind... You can set up most of this except for anything you want on the mouse. You can't set up anything you want on the mouse in game because this emulates a controller or something. It's quite complicated. But anyway, um, I have left, left mouse button for attack, right mouse button for heavy. Uh, and then I have pretty much everything else on, off the keyboard except, uh, like picking up items and stuff. I have that on middle mouse because there's just so many buttons you need for the keyboard for this game. And that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. You're going to have to basically parry with the keyboard, block with the keyboard, unless you want to do some fancy setups, but I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. So once you've set this up to your preference, I haven't changed any of this. Uh, just close it. Uh, press save and then close it. Uh, now, to make this work, you need to go into your DS Fix and uh, search for... D input and D input DLL chaining. Uh, make sure you make it this instead. It'll just be blank, I believe, just with that. It'll just have this. Uh, add that to the end. Save and then close it. And now you're ready to go. So let's go in game. All right. So we're in game now. Uh, I'll show you my control setup. Obviously, I have to wait through these. Um, I hate that you can't skip the intros in Dark Souls One. Uh, you can actually, actually there's a DM, DS fix thing that skips them, but it used to be really buggy, so I've never really done it. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay, so, uh, go into your key settings, and this is what I have mine on, but keep in mind, you can do whatever you want. But, uh, yeah, so WSD for movement, uh, all that, um, and it's quite complicated, so I'm not going to explain it, so I'm just going to go through each tab... Pause the video and have a look if you want. Um, it's quite complicated because there's so many damn buttons. Uh, but I, I got used to it pretty quick, actually. Okay. So, that's all good. Uh, so, yeah. Now, let's play. Um, Alright, there we go. Character created. Let's play. And with this mod, you can navigate the menus pretty easy. It's a bit uh, wonky, but it'll... Alright, so we're in, and as you can see, it is absolutely amazing. It's perfect. It's like a normal PC game. Uh, whereas, uh, here, I think, no, if I turn it off, it just disables the mouse. Um, in default, it's like, literally, you have to move the mouse diagonally, slightly diagonally, sideways, and it's really blocky, and it, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. It, it plays like a D input, uh, like a, like a D pad, except you have to fucking drag it. It's horrible. Uh, now, uh, my buttons, I've got middle click to pick up. I'm gonna have to get used to it again because, uh, ooh. Ah, uh, okay. It, uh, the cursor will show up when I'm in a menu thing. Okay, now, <laughs> not quite used to it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother killing these guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna run through... I'm probably just going to fast forward through this area. Alright, so we're, uh, we're at filing. That was deceptively hard. It really takes a bit of getting used to. Um, there's lots of keys that I can't even remember. Like, oh shit. That was a mistake. As I said, quite complicated. Lots of keys. So, yeah. Um, I was gonna go and get all the, the extra shit, like, uh, down at... Go get the souls, and then... Oh god, I can't even remember. You know, I'm just gonna play legit, show you 
how smooth it actually is in real time. And yeah, we'll see. Oh, Jesus. I am awful. Uh, so yeah. It lessens the need to lock on, to be honest, because it plays like a traditional third person game. But, uh, let's get rid of that. I'm just pressing the wrong key every fucking time. Okay, that's the wrong key. Alright. <laughs> it really does help to lock on, but it's less necessary. I think for bosses it's extremely necessary, but that's, that's typical. I need a better shield. There's a better shield below the sniper up ahead. Um... I thought that it would be easier to do these ones, uh, these ones, <laughs> no, it's actually way harder to kick in my opinion because you really have to tap it, ah, it just doesn't feel right to me, yeah, um, all in all, it really isn't as good as a controller, who would have thought? After all this time, we've been playing with a controller because it sucked with a mouse and keyboard. Oh, it still sucks. Okay. I mean, you can aim. If you have a bow, this would be really good for a bow on the uh, speedrun. Like a, like a Lobos type thing. You know, where he does just the sniper. Okay, let's try to do a kick, shall we? Oh, that works. Oh my dear god, he's not dead. Oh no, it's a different guy. You see, I'm awful. I am awful with a mouse and keyboard, quite obviously. Which is ironic because I am way better at PC games than I am at multiplayer games. Alright, so. I can't fucking kick for shit because it's... Ah, there you go. Right, so all in all, I still much prefer a controller. But it is good for one thing. Uh, and if I had a bow, I'd show you. But you get the idea. You could aim pretty well with this. But everything else, having to have 12 fucking key bindings on the keyboard is goddamn annoying. Whereas I've been using a controller, in fact, when I first started using a controller, I had this shitty standard thing, and all of the key bindings were mixed up, so I was like meleeing with the with the fucking stick press in, but it was still better than this because I learnt it, and then I fixed it, and it was even better. So that was great. But yeah, uh, it's cool. It's good. The start. Um, I'm going to put in the description that you can just skip the rest of the video if you just want the tutorial at the beginning. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.